G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. This is uh, part two of my restoration job on the 1966 Sanyo VTR 1000 half inch black and white reel to reel videotape recorder. In my last video I was mentioning that the, uh, the machine was functional and um, and everything but I was but it was like something was cooking underneath and yeah found out it turns out to be uh, these uh, old Sanyo diodes here, 1S 559s. So that was at the, uh, the center tap 30 volt output of the uh, power supply section. So I thought okay, maybe them diodes were shot, so I replaced them with uh, 1N 4004s which exceed the the uh, specifications of the of the Sanyo diodes and as soon as I turn it on the, those uh, one in four double fours instantly instantly blew up smoked up and blew up so yeah just got me wondering what the heck's going on because the, the four double fours exceeded the the given specifications as you can see that's it's them right there. One's blown up, the other one's okay, I guess. Anyway, I did a bit of um, tracing out, and it turns out that that there is a short to ground at the at at the uh, anode side of the diodes, where there shouldn't be a they shouldn't be short to ground. So it looks like, looks like some of these, looks like one or more of these uh, components, like the transistors maybe, uh, have uh, shorted the ground, or have become like dead shorts or something. Or, well, I don't know actually, but somewhere there is a, something has caused a short to ground and I need to find out what it is. So yeah, here I've got the got the anode side of the diodes there, which are not in the circuit as of yet. And uh, yeah, I've got a dead shot to ground. So I'm pretty much on the right track now on, on finding out what's actually causing them diodes to blow up. So I'm now I'm going to have to uh, look at the look at the capacitors. And uh, transistors, resistors, I don't know if resistors go short, I think they go open circuit when they get cooked. But yeah, capacitors, I believe they go short. So yeah, I'll be looking at, at this section here and see what the uh, faulty component is. Anyway, oh yeah, prior to this I did test the outputs of the of the transformer to see if I'm getting 30 volts center tap and yep, I'm getting 33 volts on each windings and so the the uh, transformer's working just fine. As you can see here, I actually replaced old capacitors when I first got the uh, machine. Yeah, it's pretty much a bird's nest of wiring. I need to. I did have tape around it, but the bloody tape has gone all crusty. So I'm gonna have to put some. I'm gonna have to put some sort of uh, long-lasting insulation around the around the uh, solder joints. Alrighty, that's about it for this video. I'm pretty much on the right track. Stay tuned for the next video when I've. When I've uh, made further progress with this machine, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel, signing out.